Okay. Don't know if you want to call this day two or if you want to call this day one. But crazy travel day into morning. Um, we're about to hop into a lift right now and go to our first location. It's been a crazy couple of hours, honestly. Just from landing to getting here, there's just so many factors right now. This man is producing his first overseas video. Look at him. Are you guys doing sightseeing, taking pictures and stuff? Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna be shooting a, a music video. We are here at our first location that we'll be filming at tomorrow. Just to do a little location scout. It's right along the beach. The light in here is lovely. That's one thing I really like about Cali. Like the quality of lights is really nice like all day. But yeah, we're about to go in. We're about to check it out and hope that it is to our liking for the shoot tomorrow, which I think it is. Yeah, so we just scouted our location right there. It's very, very cute. Um, definitely, definitely good to go for tomorrow. And we are out here. This area is called Playa del Rey. Um, it's not too far from Venice. But yeah, we're just gonna check out the shore here. I think this is probably the first time I'm actually going to a Cali coast. Look how, look how very Cali that is. So I'd like to explain why things suddenly became difficult. So we are supposed to shoot All or Nothing, which is the main video, like the video that we shot with Busy. This is the other half of the video. That's what we're supposed to be shooting tomorrow. They also wanted to say, hey, let's shoot a visualizer the next day. We say, all right. You know, so we're shooting the visualizer next day and then they come a little later and they say, yo, we want to do a photo shoot on the day of the visualizer. So I say, all right. So then a whole bunch of stuff have gotten confused with like flights and stuff. So some members have to leave tomorrow. So they're like, oh, can we do the photo shoot on the day of the music video? And that has kind of made things a little difficult because a music video, on a, a photo shoot on the same day as a music video. Music videos are not that. Music videos are not that forgiving in terms of time schedules, where you can just say, "All right, I'll just add on a photo shoot, no biggie." It's actually quite a biggie, so we're trying to work it out. Also, the location that we wanted to book for the visualizer on the day after the music video, we lost that location somebody booked it so now I'm figuring out how I can manage this photo shoot and needing to find a new location for the visualizer so I think what producer Habibi is doing right now he's reaching out to somebody on pair space just got, just got through and I think we will bounce over there I think it's over like in DTLA to look on this other space that he has for the visualizer that I want to do. Trust me, super complicated. But what is good is that the location for tomorrow look good. Logistically, I feel it's good. I feel like I can even go into my shot list now and cut down some time because the space is actually smaller than I expected. It kind of works for me. So I think moving things between spaces shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, and I took all my reference photos and stuff. So yeah, this is just looking into what you have to do to produce a video overseas when you're not from here. It's not like some videographer thing. It's like, a, you know, the weapon a level.
Yo, the way how that sushi while ago was so good. Didn't stand a chance. Didn't stand a chance. They have to slap it there. I can't have it on. Mm -hmm. He got way more than me. He got way more than me, yo. By he accident. Got, he got a better deal. It's not a craving thing. The showman said, John, you have food at home. Travis doesn't have food at home. Big up sushi, beluga. Good sushi out in um, Playa del Rey. So it is camera setup time. We are at LA Film Boutique. And um, you know, they have way more, I shouldn't say they have way more gear than Jamaica, but gear is here, you know, matching what we're used to in Jamaica. Some filters, ND. We have the Black Magic 4K here to stick into what I am used to. We've got 6K, just keep it 4K nice and easy. And yeah, we're gonna prep the camera for tomorrow. I think that's the easy rig right there. Yep. Um, I don't think it should be too long or complicated of a setup. So we're gonna dive in and see how it can go. Yeah, the, yeah. And the red too. Yeah, I like the red. This is, oh cool, it's a carpet too. This is very nice. This looks fun. And then there's this green one. This yellow one. We got purple. Oh. Look at this purple camera. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and we have a purple. These are Camcorder. some cool props. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a real camera that them spray purple though? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. it's a. Yeah. No, it's a real film it's camera. camera. That's, yeah. It's a real film camera that. But it's we still, have this thing on. That's a, that's a toy thing. I'm uh, And here we have typewriter. See the thing about, you no, know, I love Jamaica, you know, but there's just so much resources that are just available here. You can just go on to a pair space spend and you can just dollars. spend a few hundred dollars and you have access to creative spaces like all of these in one place, like all of them. It's just without even having to overthink, without even having to be stressed, you just go on an app. You just, you just go on there and you just. Yeah, we found this place today after losing. Yo, pre this. Yo, the prop choices are mad cool though. Is this plastic? Oh, this this feels like it was freshly done. Oh, oh this is hardcore. Yeah, so you got a nice view of DTLA up here. I'm sure at 10 o'clock we're gonna have way nicer lighting. We're we'll gonna leave Habibi in here, you know? He's a prop. So. We're just going to. Bye, Habibi. <laughs> <laughs> 